yeah good day everyone good day wherever you are watching the video from i want to say big shout out to you thank you i've been seeing the turn ups i've been seeing the subscribers the comments and everything i want to say thank you let's join together and grow this channel you know to help ourselves all so if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe you know turn on your bell notification because I'll be dropping awesome videos time to time, time to time, time to time. If I see there is something I need you to know, I will come up here and you know drop it. And if you are having difficulty in any particular place in your trading section or anything, do it to drop the comment in the or your question in the comment section. I'll answer that. And if it requires a video, of course I will go ahead to you know to shoot a video i got a message from one of us here about fibonacci so my next video i'm going to explain in details what fibonacci you is how to use fibonacci the everything about you how you're going to know about fibonacci and not just that supply and demand um uh, support and resistance um, of course they are not the same trend line channel everything you need to know time frame i'm going to do that in detail so you will not want to miss my next video so do as well to like subscribe yeah subscribe turn on your bell notification and you know comment below share to loved ones of course you want to save this video pick up your pen and viral if there's anything you can jot down so let's dive right into this video now i want you to understand something whenever i post a live video like this you know showing you my trades and everything it's not like for you to feel i'm perfect you know of course i'm not i i have losing trades sometimes do you get i have losing trades sometimes and those losing trades made me to have more edge in the market because when that's hard tend to happen again i already know because it happened before do you understand so I'm trying to show you to tell you to post my live videos here to tell you that what I teach here actually works the strategy is simple and straightforward it's not complicated it's not what you have to force to view if of course I know different strategies are out there or that blog um, uh, what was it called um, I've forgotten that but I know the structure of course you have to um, I've forgotten sure um, but before I end this video, I'm going to remember that I want to share it. But there are different strategies out there. There are other blog, there are extension and retracement. They have different uh, strategies. There is a popular one I'm trying to remember. So I know how those works. But this particular strategy I'm using is the one that suits my lifestyle. This trade now has been running for two days. Yeah, they have been running for complete two days. So um this is what i like doing i just enter a trade analyze it enter the trade and let it happen if you stop me out fine it stops me out if it goes my way that's cool it goes my way i don't trade just to make money i trade to see it as a passion i like to see it as uh, not in the haste to make money some people new traders will come on to the strategy to the forex market and try to make millions overnight that's not how it works you have to grow consistently little by little little by little and before you know you're all the way up so if you are new to this channel like and subscribe because this channel i'm going to do give post educative videos time to time to help us all win that's the aim we all to win you get so this trade now i want to do show you what and what i saw in this trade that make me enter this trade why i enter is very short it's just very short yeah so um let's dive into the video right away so and also i want you to know that um, whenever you enter a trade and it stops you out do not panic do you understand do not panic just try to look why did the market stop you out what really happened because there must be something something must happen why the market stopped you out so whenever i stop you out try to see why it stopped you out so don't just leave the market and anger and try to increase your loss size to gain what you've lost don't do that so try to understand why the market stopped you out and um so try to understand why the market actually stopped you out do you understand so this is volatility 25 index one hour time frame so i went actually to four hours it was actually it was actually daily what am i saying <laughs> so it was actually daily time frame and i would did that analysis on that daily time frame and i found out this market is heading downward 
yeah this guy is going down he's going down he's going down so what do i really do i went down to lower time frame and find a possible tradable section you know see i want you to understand i do my analysis on sometimes monthly mostly i do on weekly analyze more on daily to find the current trend then i go to four hours to plot my levels then i execute my trade on one hour time frame this is what i do but this might not suit you you can do your analysis the way i do it then you can go all the way down to 15 minutes or so wherever you like to trade the best thing is to find where the market is actually going to do you understand so this is what i did i went to delhi i found out that the market is still crashing it's going downward so i um, went ahead to to you know find the current level in four hours time frame so as i said earlier on i i trade this particular strategy because it suits my time i have other things doing i don't want to do other block and uh, to find when it breaks the particular range and i'm not enter a trade waiting to come back all those stuff they look so stressful and stocky for me so i like to analyze and leave the trade to do other things so they understand so you might like to do that block the best thing is just for you to know what you're doing so this i this was what i this was what i did so i went down So this was what I did, of course. So I draw my trend line like this, you know, connecting the weeks together. I just something like this. Yeah, this is exactly how I drew it. So of course, this is the first touch. This is the first touch. This is the second touch. Mind you, this is for our time frame. So this is the value chain. So this is the third, the third touch. And I'll tell you how and why I enter this trade and where I enter the trade. So let's go to one hour to view it better. So I got this market somewhere about here. Somewhere about here. This way is where I got the market. My stop loss was above here. As you can see, it's a nearly hit to hit me out. And um, I did the stop. I put the stop at 100 um, fully retracement somewhere about here. So I got the market somewhere here. Somewhere up here. That is this is where I got the market. So the market went down all oh, in profits, came back ranging negative, negative, and there about. So once I put my stop loss, I don't move it. If it stops me out, it stops me out. That's the plan. That's how it works. So I got the market somewhere up here, about here because of this. This is the first touch, this is the second touch, and also a, su a support and resistant region here. Let me draw this closely. Um, it, let's increase it a bit. Yes. So this is this is properly drawn now. So because of this support region, this support region somewhere here, you see the support came all the way here, respected the resistance. So the market came back into the zone, this resistance point. So I saw once I saw this, this I entered the first trade somewhere about here, came back all the way up. So forming an M shape, I entered the second one. I I was kind of busy yesterday. If I wanted to maximize this move. I, this was this is what I'm going to do. I would have drawn a counter trend line. You know how this works. At the break of this region, at the break of this, the second one, I'm going to enter another trade. And once the market keeps going and breaks this region, once the market keeps going and break this region, this sorry, let me breaks this region, I'm going to enter the second one, bringing my um, bringing my stop loss to break even a little bit above this to break even here and once the market is still in the move breaks this region i'm entering another one do you understand bringing my stop loss here i will just maximize the move all the way down but i don't really have that time yesterday and yeah yesterday and so so i just entered the trade and went out to do other things so as you can see the market came back 
respected this respected this region i saw this and i was hoping if this market should break this region break this region and come all the way to this side i'm going to close this this trade yeah i was in profit a lot but comes back to test that's perfectly fine i'll take the little i can but i will know that the market is trying to tell me something but i know this market if this market respects this is going to break this is now low lower high lower low the market now is coming back to test this region you see it's just very easy in this is the trade analysis is just very easy it's not what you have to stress yourself about that's why i say you have to trade one or two pairs know how they work for well, at least 25 respect fibonacci on the higher time frame like daily on this we just do supply and demand resistance and supportive levels trend line channels and that's how it goes why others on any time frame they support that fibonacci so you just have to know how each market works let me just see if it's record okay yeah you just still have to know how each market works my next video i'm going to do a top i one of us i don't know if i've said this one of us um messaged me about fibonacci my next video right now i'm going to explain what fibonacci is how to use it how to put your levels how to plot it everything you need to know about fibonacci and also, not only that i'll be talking about supply and demand the concept behind the terminology behind supply and demand everything um also resistant of course they are not the same resistant i'm also going to talk about trend line channels and many valuable content you don't want to miss it so if that is what you are looking at make sure you like subscribe turn on your bell notification comment below if there are some places you're having difficulties and challenges you want us to do it and solve it together comment below if it's something i'll just have to reply you i'll reply you if it's something that needs a video i'll make sure i'll do a video about it going all i'm going to reply you so this is just easy this is just this, this is just simple what i saw just the trend line and um, this is supply and demand zone at the resistance zone at this point do you understand the resistance zone at this point that's just two two i saw if i want to add complexes i would have do i don't trade on indicators as you can see indicator will not give you this this full trade like this indicator would have come here and you know this crossing bar and everything that was how i started if you check my previous video you see i was doing on indicator before i decided to go on pure technical analysis so if that is what you do I'm also saying it so we can grow this channel. I know there are many traders out there that are struggling. So I just want us to like, subscribe, turn on your bell notification so it can reach, so YouTube can, you know, suggest this video to many more people so they can stop the depositing regularly without withdrawing something out. So see you in my next video and shout out to everyone, shout out to you wherever you're watching from. Of course, this is me, Mimi eBay. I have some works to do right now. so. I want to make this video quite short. So thank you and bye for now. Um, of course I'll be closing the trade right now. <laughs> or I'll just see what the market wanna do. If this market tends to play around, forming a come back to this zone and form a W kind of W coming back to this zone and closing the trade. But if you break this market structure and bring in my stop loss to break even somewhere above this region, do you understand? So that's what I'm looking at on this trade. The other trade is running on the background. But once it's ripe, I'm going to come here and tell you how I did it. So watch out my next video. I'm going to do my strategy from down, from the scratch down to where I am right now. So you don't want to miss it. So bye for now and take care. Also stay safe.